Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Jazzy J here. And uh, as you can see, I'm playing a little bit of Killing Floor because during the Steam Summer Sale, I got this because this is a really, really cool game and I really like it. Um, pretty much the, the premise, I don't know if I'm using the word right, but the premise of this game is uh, you're a team sent in to kill these sort of... Uh, I think they're called specimen, specimen things, and pretty much you, it, uh, it's 10 to 5 to 7, pretty much whoever's hosting the server gets to choose, and it's uh, those kinds of rounds, but uh, once you get to 10, uh, you, you finish that round off, and then it gets you down to the 11 out of 10, which is weird, but uh, the, once you get to the 11th round is when you get to fight the Patriarch, which is pretty much no like the big bad boss of the uh, entire game. So, uh, as you can see, uh, I'm rolling with the uh, uh, to the uh, Firebug. Uh, I've chosen this. You can see I have level 4, rank 4. I don't know what they use for this, but... um. I have a rank 4 because I I like it a lot. It's not really good for taking out the big guys, but uh, if you're just going in for lots and lots of kills, then this is just completely owning all of the uh, little guys. Like I have the flamethrower right now, so uh, it'll it'll be pretty beast once you uh, once you watch this. Once the round starts, uh, it, get, it gets pretty uh, pretty useful. Um, I don't think a firebug is necessary to be on a good team, but if you have a firebug on your team, uh, you, you're, you're gonna do pretty well in the round. Uh, right now I'm playing on normal, so with my current rank, I could probably solo maybe a scrape, which, uh, we'll, we'll see that later on in the rounds. Those don't show up until, like, the fifth, but, like, see, see all those kills I'm getting? That's just with the flamethrower, because this, the flamethrower just owns, because... You can see at the bottom right how uh, there's a little fire symbol and then a number. Uh, each number is like, a, I, I want to say like an ounce of fuel. But uh, with just one ounce, I can kill pretty much most of those specimens. The only ones that are affected by more than just one are those red guys that I just killed. But see like clot, 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 crawler, clot, all that. That is just complete ownage right there. That is, that's one of the reasons I choose this, because each uh, point of the fire uh, deal uh, gives me lots of lots of uh, damage, because it's just uh, each one is one point of damage, I think, or just has their own amount of damage. So, uh, it's pretty fun this game, actually. I'm, I'm, it's a really good buy. If you haven't bought it yet, you, you should consider buying it. Uh, when, like, you see that guy? That's a husk. Uh, he's like the me of the, uh, specimens team. I'm not affected by his fire as long as I have, like, one percent, or not one percent, but, uh, one body armor point. As you can see, I didn't, but, uh, I'll probably end up buying it if I have enough after I buy everything, which I probably won't because flare pistols are pretty expensive. Flare pistols are actually a DLC weapon, which, in my opinion, was a really good buy. One of the tricks I've learned is to uh, not do the fill ammo unless you have more than uh, than is needed, because what will happen is it'll take all of your money, but you'll probably end up with like a little bit of ammo, and so you'll lose a bit of the money. Like even though I only have one one pound left, it's still it's better than nothing when they like just take all of you. I've lost at like 15 to 30 pounds doing that. So you can see I'm the top of the uh, ranking because I'm a firebug and firebug. It's it, the ranking is pretty much by whoever gets the most kills is on the top, and pretty much it's like firebug is first and getting most kills, and then usually like support specialist or maybe commando. Uh, berserkers, I think you know. They're, they're good, but I'm not really good with them because I don't know how to kite at all. And this guy, this guy looks like he might get messed up a bit. But you can see, I can just come in and save the day right there with the uh, firebug. Um, 
the flamethrower is one of the uh, most basic of your fi firebug weaponry because it's it's good with dealing large areas of damage, but also the uh, the ammo isn't expensive. Like it's pretty cheap to uh, have to refill the ammo, and as you can see, it just completely messes up all specimens. That guy looks like he's he's hurt. I'll heal him. But it looks like he's just using a knife, so uh, I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know why he doesn't have another weapon. I mean, it's already round three. He should have something, at least a machete. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. I healed you, and now you're already little, lost the same amount of health. Okay. Uh, fine. I'll heal him one more time. There. Um, I don't think this is gonna work. I'm just gonna... You know, I'll just take care of it. There we go. Um, at this point, I don't really care. Just, uh, just, you, you be, you die there. Oh, she's gonna heal him. And I'm just gonna sit here and, uh, do his job. I don't know why he doesn't have another weapon. What, what's going on with that? Yes, yeah, so like I said, it was on sale for Steam for, like, I don't know, five dollars. And then each DLC was, like, two, three dollars. I bought the, uh... I bought both community weapons pack, which included the steampunk one, and then I bought one where, just, or actually no, I bought two of the uh, gold, to where it makes like certain weapons gold. Like I have the golden flamethrower, because usually the flamethrower looks semi-normal-ish. Flare pistols are really good. Uh, I only use those for like some of the big stuff because in, unlike the flamethrower they do the uh, instant damage when you fire them instead of uh, fighting. I'll give him my money, I don't care. He has a katana. Why? I don't know. Just accept it. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah. As you can see my grenades, they do fire damage instead of exploding like normal grenades. Once you get up to like level 4, I think they start doing that. I don't remember when it started. It probably was then. Um, Firebug is pretty much the, my primary class we're working on. Sometimes I'll play Medic, but uh, truth be told, Medic is a very thankless job. You won't get many thank yous for it. So I've just pretty much given up on helping people like that. That being said, I am a level 5 for them. I, I do have a rank 5 medic, but that's only because this one time I played on a server and they had friendly fire on, so everybody kept hitting him, hitting each other. So yeah, that's how you get most of the points. Is I think it's like each point of health gives you a rank up points, so once you get enough, you'll get there. Uh, I don't know what the fuck is going on with that husk. Um, the flare revolvers I actually don't really take out very often. Like, for the husks, I use them, but other than that, I just pretty much use them for husks and big stuff, because, first off, they don't have very much ammo, it's only 12 shots. And then the reloading, since I use dual, it uh, sort of slows down the reloading time a bit. Yeah, and, you know, if it doesn't kill things on the first try, there's always them burning out, like, this- I'll watch- watch this bloat. Yeah, see, he just exploded. I don't know what he was doing, doing the whole moonwalk thing, but... Yeah, see, they'll- they'll burn out after a while. Holy crap, my ping was zero. It's really weird. Yeah, my ping's zero, what the hell? So... Pretty much this is this is killing floor, getting kills, leveling up. Uh, I think I'm currently I'm playing on a mod or not a mod server, but a uh, special map server somebody made. It's the Doom one. This isn't included with the game. You'll probably have to find somebody or a server that plays with this map. And so it's pretty fun. Doom is one of those maps where everybody could literally sit in one, like, hallway and just spray down that hallway. It's... I wouldn't say it's a newbie map, but at the same time, you know, it, it's good for beginners and all that. I'm not a beginner, but I just wanted to, uh... I, 
I pretty much clicked on random when I selected a session for this to record. So, uh, yeah, this is the first recording. Hey, this is the first Killing Floor recording. Uh, if you could leave your support, that'd be great. If you have any tips or anything that you want to see, don't hesitate to tell me. But, um, yeah. Uh, my Steam name right there, Jazzy J. My ping is back to normal. And uh, I'm just going to give out money because, I, like I said, this is so just uh, normal. Or not normal. This is so cheap to have a firebug. You don't really use much money once you get the dual flare pistols and the uh, flamethrower because the uh, ammo is cheap and they completely max out my weight. And uh, I do that when I'm bored, sorry. And, uh, yeah, I don't have much else to use my money for, because, like I said, I primarily use the flamethrower, which doesn't use very much ammo at all anyways, so... By the end of the round, usually it'll be, I'm either almost out or out of, uh, flamethrower, and I'll maybe have used two or one or two mags. They call them mags, but, uh, one or two, uh, complete wheels of the flare flare revolver like so this guy one two three. yeah see um as you can see my pc isn't exactly optimized to play this uh but uh, you know you can tell what's going on so eh. if you can if you can play it you might as well this is a really fun game. If anybody does want to play with me, my, I showed my Steam name before. It's Jazzy J, the same as my uh, YouTube without the Roman numerals at the end. So if you have Killing Floor and you want to play, that'd be great. Um, unfortunately, most of my friends don't have, like, they aren't PC gamers. Most of them are consoles, so I don't really have many people to play PC with. But even though, even then, this game is actually, it has solo mode, so you can play it as solo. I wouldn't advise playing on solo very often, because, well, you know, you see those, the clots? Those are those little guys right there in front of me? That guy walking up that just died? Yeah. They, they have an ability to where if they attack you, they can, um, they'll grab you, and they won't let go of you, and so you're like sort of stuck in one place, and that's how... That's how they get you, they, they stop you, and then the rest of the uh, specimens sort of just kind of converge around you and just completely pummel you to death. And usually if I am going to play by myself, I just go to my medic because the medic gets an added boost to their uh, body armor. And so what that does is it pretty much... I get extra body armor so they don't hurt me as badly, and then at the same time... Um, my syringe, that little thing that I keep injecting into my arm whenever I lose health, my syringe activates faster, so that way I don't have, like, look at that, a whole thousand pounds. That way, if I do get hurt, it's like, inject myself, wait five seconds, oh look, it's already full in case I need to heal myself again. Because on a normal thing, like just firebug, commando, sharpshooter, or anything, if you use syringe one try... It heals you 25 health, and then it also gives you, an al but it also takes the syringe's uh, energy level down to uh, zero. And uh, for like a medic, I think if you use the syringe on yourself at a certain level, like at mine, I think it's like 40 or so health. I don't know, might be more, might be less. But and it recharges like at my mine is like it recharges. I don't know. I think it's a hundred times faster. And so, um, and if you use the syringe on another person, it only takes away half of its charge, and it heals them 40. So I, you can imagine using it as a medic on somebody will heal them a lot in one go, which usually as a medic, you only have to use it maybe once or twice on somebody. It depends. But, uh, oh, look, here's a scrape. That's, that's the uh, thing I was talking about. I can usually sell this with just the flamethrower. He'll maybe get one swing if he was close enough when I started, but other than that, I can pretty much deal with those guys. The ones you really have to watch out for are the, uh, are the flesh pounds. And as you can see, there's like a little weird trick that you can do with the uh, syringe where it's like you use it, but uh, 
right as you're using it you switch to your weapon and so it'll sort of do the animation which makes it kind of quicker because if you went through the entire animation of using it then you'd uh see he, he didn't make it to me but uh but uh it the whole animation takes like three or four seconds to go through and so that's one of the good things about uh being quick on the keys and i am almost out of my f fuel already for my flamethrower. This might be one of those rounds where I have to use my uh, my uh, flare pistols. Like, see, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to. All right, all right, that was that was pretty hectic. Uh, grenade time. Or the demo could just completely obliterate all of my kills. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, but one of the uh, things about this is the um, flamethrower does become.